How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So in today's episode, we have finally hit 100 episodes of the Let's Play. I am so glad that you guys are enjoying this series and that you keep coming back to watch more because I love playing this game. So thank you to all my day ones and thank you to everybody who this may be your first time ever watching this video. Welcome to the channel. Today I have something really awesome planned for you guys. I'm going to be building a bone meal farm because what happens is I have a ton of poppies that come inside of my uh, iron farm and I don't have any use for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn put them in a composter and then um, make a ton of bone meal out of it. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch this to uh, daytime because it is nighttime outside and I don't have any sprint so I don't because I don't have any food. So give me one second. So I ended up having a little bit of bread inside of my uh, farm chest over here. So now that I finally got some food, we are ready to go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just organize my inventory a little bit and get prepared for today's build. So this is the materials list that I think I'm going to need. I'm going to need a redstone comparator with some redstone repeaters and some redstone, of course. I'm going to need uh, some chests to store the bone meal, and I'm going to need some hoppers to direct the stuff around, and a composter to turn the flowers actually into bone meal. I'm also going to build this a little bit underground, so I have a ladder, and I had a trapdoor in here somewhere. I think I may have put it away by mistake. So what my plan is, is I'm going to build it directly below this one. Just because this chest already has all the flowers coming into it. So what I'm going to do is just use what I already have. And let me just switch to daytime. Hold on. I ended up getting distracted and trading iron with the villagers and fixing up some other stuff in my house. So that's why it ended up being at nighttime so quickly. But um, yeah, so let's let's get started with building this. So I got to make sure that I don't accidentally build this like into the water part. But I think if I just stay away yeah like that i should be able to avoid it so back here is where i'm going to be putting the filters so i'm going to be using the same filter that i did for the gold farm so what i did was i had uh, i needed this redstone stuff over here okay perfect so there's going to be this is where actually the composter is going to go the composter is going to go right into this spot here because there's going to be a hopper. Oh, and it's synced up. Oh, one of these villagers has this as a job lock, which is not good. Not good. Do I have any blank villagers in here? I thought I thought I fixed them all up. Maybe there was one that I didn't do. It must be No, there's one over here. And who's the farmer? This one. Okay, so I have two actually that I didn't finish up and you see this this would this would have caused problems because then it's not going to be assigned to the job lock that is directly in front of them so do i have any more job blocks left i have two composters okay so that kind of works so i guess i'll just make them farmers temporarily uh, so i'm going to break this one yeah and then i'm going to turn those two villagers into um into farmers so that way Oh, but you know what? The composter might cause problems because whenever I have another villager, now it's someone's going to be assigned to it. So that's not very good. But I guess we'll deal with that when it comes to. Um, so who became the farmer? I think it was this one, right? Yeah, there we go. And it's good because I could use always some farmer villagers. Perfect. So now if I put the third one down, it should not get assigned. Nope. Okay, perfect. All right. Well, at least now I'll know that if anybody becomes the farmer, it's because I got some job block shenanigans going on. Okay, so let's put this here back to it. So I'm going to put the hopper going into there. And then I just need to build a little section behind here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need some building blocks. So I'm going to... And actually, I need my shovel. Uh, doing this with dirt is really annoying. Yeah. So it goes one, two, down, just like this, just like that. Okay, perfect. So basically, you're going to put a comparator, and then you're going to put two pieces of redstone. 
one going like this, and then you put a repeater over here, and then you put, um, oh, you see, I can't do that actually. Okay, so I'm actually going to need another hopper, but that's okay for now, because what I have to do is I have to break this. Because what happens is that the composter, it needs the hopper facing downwards into it for it to work. It won't work to the side. So it's going to have to look like this. I'm going to put the composter here. I'm going to have one hopper pointing into it. And one hopper pointing into that. So that way I could put my redstone torch just like this. And the next hopper would just go on top. Um, okay, so that's fine. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to dig down even more because now I have to get under the composter. So let's see what we have over here. I can break this and let me put some torches just so that nothing gets the bright idea to spawn in here. So then under the composter we're going to have a hopper and we're going to have uh, the chest. I'm going to put the chest just like this and one like that. Okay. So let me just clean this up a little bit. I'm going to break away some of the stuff over here. Yeah, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace some of the walls with the stone brick, just so that it looks a little bit nice down here. Uh, I'll leave the floor as regular stone. I think that has a nice look to it. And here's some andesite. Actually, I can make the floor out of like polished andesite. I think that's like a really nice look. Maybe I'll do that. So, can I even make polished andesite? Yeah. Okay, perfect. But I definitely don't have enough to cover the whole floor. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go like this. Perfect. Make a nice little wall. Okay, nice. This this area looks really nice now. I mean, I think I might need more than six... Uh, uh, six ladders. Whoops. Okay. So, yeah. How am I going to get up here now? Where's my ladders? Let's see. I'll do one, two, three, four. Okay. That's good enough. Oh, no. And I didn't actually need one more. Okay. Perfect. So, six was actually just enough. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up this area. But not too much because I also still want access to... Uh, the chest over here. I'm going to get one of the trap doors. That way I have a way to like kind of close the little secret entrance. And I need to... Uh, oh, but oh yeah, the trap door, I could put it right on top. That's fine. Just like this. Actually, can you put it on top of a ladder? Yeah, perfect. So it's going to be like that. I'm just going to go down. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open this up a bit more so it looks a bit more even. And then I need to, of course, put some dirt. And I need a way to get up here in case I ever need to get into the redstone or anything like that. Perfect. So let's just light this area up. And I'm going to put one, two. Okay, perfect. Awesome. I'm really excited for this. If you're excited to see how this bone meal farm is going to come out, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right, so I have a ton of um, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I have a ton of chests, so I can make just the one extra hopper here. So I'm going to make one hopper. And I also gathered all the poppies that I put away from a previous episode, just so that I'm ready to get rid of everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the hopper and I'm going to place it into the comparator. This is a really important part. And I'm going to fill this up with poppies just like this. So slowly but surely, all of the poppies are going to go down and give me a ton of bone meal because I actually have so many poppies. I don't need the string in here. Okay, perfect. And let's see if this is working just to be sure. Oh, nice. So this bone meal is already starting to get in there. So I have a ton of poppies. I wonder how much it's going to turn into. But what I should do now is just kind of organize it so that all the iron is like all next to each other. Yeah. Okay. I want it to look very clean once there's no more poppies in here. 
I could also technically filter out the uh, the strings, but I think now that I have all the cats, that shouldn't really be an issue anymore. Okay, perfect. All right. So let's just let this run for a little bit and we'll see how much it come it comes out to when we return. And this is how much bone meal I ended up getting, which is two and a half stacks, which is a little bit to be honest. And as my iron farm grows, it's just going to become more and more. So what I wanted to do was just have one little addition, which is I'm going to have a comparator coming out of the chest. So that way, when the chest is full, I want like a light to come on. So that way I'll be able to tell. So I'm going to put a redstone lamp over there and I'm just going to uh, run a redstone wire, but it needs to be 15 long. So uh, let's see, I think, um, how am I going to get up there? Um, I would need a torch at the end of it. I would need two torches, actually. And I only have 10 redstone dust left, so I don't even have enough to run like a full line of 15 redstone dust. So I think I have to trade with some, um, I forget what they're called, but the, uh, the brewing stand villagers to get some more redstone because I am all out. But I think this is a great place to end this video. So if you liked it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.